Hey guys, what's up? So for this video, I will be showing you guys how I made this Raven Queen throne. So this is the sketch that I made for Raven Queen's throne, as you can see. These are spikes, and these are feathers going around her, um, going from the back to the front of her throne. The main materials are forks, plastic forks, feathers, cardboard, any recycled cardboard, shoe boxes, or whatever, glue gun, studs, um, and black paint. Let's start like by making the pieces of the throne. As you can see, as you guys can see, I got a simple little um, cardboard box here that I got from a delivery before, and I am gonna use my Clio Denial as a sizing. Um, reference. So I just finished cutting all of the pieces. As you can see, this is the back and I have all the um, the pieces that are marked and stuff. So right now we're just gonna glue gun it and build the actual chair. Next, we're gonna go ahead and coat the the chair with um, paper mache. You can use any type of paper. You don't have to do this, but I prefer doing this so that it's cleaner. And when we paint over it, it's gonna be um, the they're gonna take the paint better. And so I just have some scrap paper here. You can use newspaper, magazines, whatever. And I have a cup of water, and I have um, any type of glue. So I just finished um, coating every single part of the chair. I didn't do um, the back because um, we're going to cover that anyway, so we can leave that there. Let's just wait for it to dry and we're going to paint over it. After it's been dried, let's go ahead and paint it with um, black all over the whole chair. Um, I'll probably, probably do it um, two coats of black, um, but um, yeah. After the chair has been somewhat dry, um, let's go ahead and add our details. Um, I'm going to make this part of the chair um, gray, and uh, I'm gonna go as close as the drawing, but of course I think I'm gonna change some of the ideas. After it's been dried, I'm gonna go and take a 3D paint to create um, swirls to make it three-dimensional and it actually pops up and not just drawn on because I want it to be as detailed as much as I can. For the back side of her, I am going to take a felt, no this is not felt, a, fo a, a foam paper and cut out swirls for the back side. So I just finished putting the 3D paint on the um, armrest and also I did a bit of detailing with paint. I added, I added some fainted black around her and did a stippling um, technique to make the um, chair look a bit 
age and I'm gonna do that to towards the back of her chair as well I am going to go and add these um the spikes on um, the lower front of her chair. These are just the normal pyramid um, spikes and um, be careful with these because they're very very sharp and I'm just gonna go ahead and place them here. So I just finished gluing the studs. Um, you can puncture it through the cardboard too, that can be easier too, but I decided I'll just glue it um, because um, I don't know, I want to be more precise about it. So I just spaced it out three by three and um, yeah. Next part is this on top of her and I'm just gonna get a, um, a mirror, a circle mirror and one gem and glue it together. Next part of it is the cloth here. Um, this is just a black cloth with um, feathers which I'm going to make from scratch. I just went ahead and cut out um, old fabric t-shirts. just wanted to hug the chair and make it look like it's wings. So this is how it looks after I put the feathers for the spike area. I'm going to take um, black um, fork, plastic forks. What we can do is just um, snap it. You be careful because um, I mean this can be really really tricky. So if you guys are kids, um, ask your parents or someone older to do this for you. After we're done with the forks, let's go ahead and glue them in the back right here to make the spike spike halo like that. So I just finished putting the spikes as you guys can see. Um, let me show you the back. So this is how the back looks like. So um, it does take a lot of gluing, it does take a lot of time and you gotta be careful not to be poked um, but um, that's how it turned out. And after that I am just going to put um, some minor detailing like chains and um, we're almost done. So one last thing, after we have we are done with everything, I am going to coat it again with some Mod Podge um, mixture. Just because if we put the doll on and they their skin rub off on the the chair, they might pick up the black paint. So just to seal everything in, I'm going to do that and just seal it with the Mod Podge. And there you have it! I am done with the whole throne. Now let's try it on Cleo. Ahem. <gasps> Isn't that my throne, Cleo? Excuse me. Hello? 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 That's my throne. Hello? <sighs> Anyways, if you guys enjoy the making of this video and the making of my throne, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment down below for more. But um, yeah, I need to like get her out of my chair first, and yeah. Whoopsie. <laughs>